Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for a brilliant video guys on a brilliant indie developer guys. He is bloody awesome, I can't stipulate that enough. He has, as far as I know guys, got four titles out at the moment. Now three of them have hit the Nintendo Switch and that's what we're going to look at, we're going to look at those three games guys. Now. There is another one but let's start at the beginning who am i talking about well i'm talking about the brilliant thomas k young guys oh, he's from new zealand he started off as a developer for android and then he branched out guys he's now on steam he is on of course the nintendo switch as well now so oh fantastic guys fantastic now, he started back in 2015 as an Android developer, so he's been around the houses already a little bit of time. Yeah. But what a brilliant indie developer, guys. Now, I think those four titles that he's got out already would make a nice Evercade cartridge. I would love to see these games end up on an Evercade. Um, and no doubt he would bring some more games to uh, the table as well for Evercade. I think this would be awesome. What a fantastic bloody collection this would be guys but it's not going to be for everybody because they're quite cutey they get bloody hard but they're quite cute guys so what games are we going to be taking a look at well first up we're going to be taking a look at the awesome daddish now i've covered this before guys it's your little radish who's a dad daddish his kids go missing and he has to go and find them uh yeah brilliant brilliant game uh, the kids follow this balloon and then he, you know, he goes along the different platform and levels, guys, and he starts to find his children and it gets harder and harder and harder. There's a lot of comedy in it as well, which is brilliant. It's very subtle comedy, guys. Nothing rude, just brilliant. Um, yeah, fantastic, guys. And then we're going to jump on to the sequel. Radish, or oh, Daddish. Sorry, Daddish. I was going to say Radish. Daddish 2. I tell you what, he made a brilliant game even better. It is even better, guys. I mean, the first one is fantastic, but this one just goes up that tiny notch, guys. It's brilliant. It's the same kind of thing again. He's at work. The kids go missing um, because they're on the way to see him at work. So, yeah, in the meantime, they go missing again, and he has to go and find them inside his workplace where there's all sorts of bloody you know things that could uh, kill his uh, little uns like bloody grip buzz saws and what have you oh lots of things that could really harm them spikes and what have you so yeah another brilliant platformer again guys and it, like i said taken up a notch and then we're going to end it with unfortunately the sequel to a fantastic game guys a really really fantastic game um, that was out already on Steam, but it hasn't been brought to the Switch yet. And I'm purely looking at the Switch titles, guys. So it's a shame, because I would have loved to have covered the other one as well. The first of these two. But it's still a fantastic flipping game, guys. And it's called Foulest 2, guys. Or Super Foulest 2, as this one is known. Now, Super Foulist, as I said, is out there. You can get it. You can get it on Steam and you can get it on Android. But yeah, we're going to be looking at the Switch version, guys, which is Super Foulist 2. Brilliant, brilliant mechanics in this game, guys. It's a platformer again, but wow. You've got to bounce in that direction. You've got to bounce in that direction. It's using the uh, shoulder buttons, guys. Um... There's things that are shooting at you, all these creatures that are shooting at you, so you hit them to, to kill them, basically. And, uh, yeah, getting on to, you know, other levels is quite tricky because you've got to go left, right, left, right. It 
it's fantastic. You will see, guys, just how bloody awesome this game works. Now, oh, what a fantastic developer Thomas K. Young is. Now, he has got a Twitter, guys. You can go over there. On uh, Twitter, he is also known as Tommy Ill. Um, but, yeah, if you look up Thomas K. Young on Twitter, guys, you'll find him. I will link it below as well. Um, but he is awesome, guys. Awesome. And it's not very often you hear things coming out of New Zealand. So very, very interesting indeed. Right, would you like to join me as we do this Tommy K. Young special, guys? With three stellar titles. Just a shame it wasn't the four, eh? Right, back in a sec as we get this ball rolling. Right, here we go guys with the first of the Thomas K. Young games in this special. That is the first one. Brilliant music. But very quick. Right, here we go. <laughs> Did you hear that Mario Nick there sound effect? And that is a map. Obviously, I've been playing it already. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we'll go right back. Here we go, go right back to the beginning, and I can show you it from the start, guys. Basically, here's Little Uns of Ranoff. Naughty Little Uns. And they are uh, hiding, and he's got to find them, basically. Right, here we go. Your basic controls here, guys. Just tells you. Right, let's play this thing. And I'll try and shut up a bit. The humour in this is brilliant, guys, by the way. <laughs> right, this way it starts getting a bit more complicated. Right, here we go. Now, I've got to explain this, guys. See these blocks? You've got to get them. Push that one down here. There we go. And then, we've got to go down here. Push it right along, guys, to the second button. Like that, leave it there. Jump on this one. And then the other block comes down. Wicked. This you need, of course, to uh, get to your little tear away. There we go. I missed the star, by the way. Yeah, you're supposed to collect them stars. Right, you can see this one, guys. Very interesting. You've got these blocks here. You've got these bloody buzz saws going. So what we've got to do, guys, is go, oh, get back, get back. Wait for the right time. There we go. There we go, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for the platform, there we go. And jump on there when you can. Obviously you don't want to be buzzsawed, there we go. And that takes the blocks away, because you have the key. And then double jump across. Yes you can, and then you're here guys, look. There we are.
Show me about the uh, the comedy in this guy's is brilliant. Very subtle. No rudeness. Just brilliant. All right, now this is where it gets very <laughs> more challenging. I say very, it's more challenging, guys. And so we're gonna get across here. Just you want this thinking star over here normally, but of course I've been playing it already, guys, so it's gone. There would be a star there normally. There we go, we've got across there. There we go, across there. There we are. Wicked. And there he is, the little sucker. I know, so cool. Never gets old with that Mario bit, does it? Hmm. Funny how it's actually on a Nintendo platform, guys, and they let them get away with that. Not really, really funny. Can't get any further there. Right, so here we go. It gets a bit more complicated here, guys, that's for sure. Wait for that buzzsaw to go and drop down. There we go, jump off quick. Now, you've got to hit the edge here, guys, so you don't hit the spike. I'll show you what I mean. Probably die doing it, man. Oh, see what I mean. Right. Try again. Oh, well, we managed to miss them. There we go, guys. Just on the edge like that. And jump across. Same again, guys, unfortunately. Oh, and then you get to this thing here. You've got to time it just right. Oh, that's this. Don't even bother trying to get that star, guys. Just double jump your way across. Blimey. Oh, don't even know how I did that. There he is, a little bugger. They're cheeky, aren't they, little scamps? Remind me of Oliver. Right, okay, guys. Doesn't get any easier, I can tell you that now. There we go, we're gonna drop. There we go, double jump your way across again, guys, if you can, quick. Onto the second one to jump over, there we go. Now, this is where I come unstuck, guys, I really do. Wait for that to go, oh! Hmm. Right, try again. Now you can see what I mean about getting unstuck. Right, let's get to this one and back up again. There we go. Right, wait for that to drop and move over as quick as you can. Oh, yes, swine. See what I mean? It's so hard. We'll give it one more go, guys. And then I'll leave it to you. If you decide to pick up this absolutely fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Right, shall we move on to Daddish 2? Because I tell you what, he managed to make it even better, guys, if that's, if you can even begin to believe it. Right, back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with the second Thomas K. Young game. And I tell you what, he managed to make it better, guys, he really did. Look at the music again, guys. Oh, shall I say, listen to the music again, guys. The longer this time. Brilliant. Right. Here we go. Right, here we go. Because I played it already, guys. We're back on the map. Now, it's the same story. He's at work. The kids came to see him, which he wasn't expecting. And then they all scampered off again, so he's got to find them before they get killed in the workplace, basically. Right, here we go. We'll start with one. Show you from the beginning again. Right, it's the same old thing, guys. Look, basic controls and everything, but it's in a work environment. Right, here we go. You go into the double, double jump quicker here. There we go. Found the first little scamp. There's that Mario bit again, guys. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, that was quite an easy one again. There we go. Brilliant. 
Oh, is it now? I didn't bring you, you just showed up. The comedy again, guys, is brilliant. Right, here we go. That's where it starts getting harder again with the bus saws. As you can see, he's trapped behind those uh, keys there. Key blocks, and there's the key up there. So we've got to get it, haven't we? So we've got to avoid these little, what look like, crazy burgers. Sorry, John. No pun intended. Right, okay, so we've got to get along here, haven't we? Yeah, there we go, got it. But I did miss a star again, guys. Yeah, why do you have buzz saws in an office job? They're for shredding paper, of course. Oh, it's been so, yeah, many days without a work-related accident. Well, that's good to know, isn't it, eh? Right, guys, this is where it gets a little bit more batshit crazy. As you can see, you've got these buttons here. Press that, you can go down. And then it's the same story, guys. Put the box on that button and then press this one and that opens the blocks up again. So, wicked. Right, and we've got to get up here, guys. That's it, and get that box down. There we go. Excellent. On that one. That's it. And press that one. Yay! That brings that. Now you can try and get a star like this, but I tell you what, you cannot jump high enough, guys. I've tried every which way. I don't know how. Oh well. We'll just go and rescue the little nipper then. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? Hey, you're promoting your kids talking to strangers. <laughs> it's just wicked. <laughs> One guy even showed us his cool knife. Oh dear me. Great. Yeah, super. Oh, fantastic guys. <laughs> this developer's brilliant. Brilliant. But these look like donuts, look, but I think they're meant to be some kind of saw as well, maybe. Like a saw blade? I, don't, I really don't know, guys. They're not a buzz saw. This is a very hard level, guys. Very, very hard. Oh, just like that, see? Yeah, fantastic still, though. Wicked. Oh! Not that I'm doing very well, eh? So you can actually bounce off them if you do it, like, bounce on them twice. Not that it helps you much, but uh, you can. Yeah, like that, see? But I never seem to get to the bus saws in time. Like that. Way, yeah, got in the middle there. How far am I going to get now, guys? Oh, we did it, we did it. Wicked. And then you've got this bloody ball to watch out for as you're trying to make your way up these here. Which is very, very difficult. Oh, I just can't seem to... Get it guys, I'll get to the next one suddenly, and I don't even know how, See, I'm double jumping, no, can't do it, see I, I did it once and I couldn't get to the next one, ah yes swine, that may have to be something you work out for yourselves guys in the end. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. Let's just see if I can do it again, eh? No, you bugger. Oh, you swine. <laughs> very hard, guys. Very hard. So I may have to let you get on with this one, guys, in the end. But I can't get, even when I get to that one, I can't get to the next one, guys, on plank. Yeah, we'll leave it there, guys, that's fine. Um, because it's time to move on to the last one, guys, because it's brilliant. Right, back with the last title. Right, here we go, guys, with the last Thomas K. Young game. Unfortunately, I don't have Super Foulest. But we've got Super Fowlers too. Again, so retro, guys. Wow. Oh, 
chicken. Why, well, hey, I'm a renegade. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. That music, guys, listen to it. Oh, wouldn't this make a fantastic cartridge for the Evercade? Wow. These three games alone, and plus, you know, Super Foulist as well. The original one. Let's go. That would be four stellar titles, guys. And he's got more out there. He could make up a nice cartridge for the Evercade. Right, so here we go, guys. Press, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Top left and what have you. Yeah, okay. So there we go, All right. Hey, there we go, nice one. So yeah, you're basically bouncing everywhere, aren't you? Look at that. Wicked. Yeah, so that's cool. Any other buttons we can press? No, that's it. Right, okay. Then. Right, so obviously this way, yeah, like that. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, look at them buggers. Got it. Wicked. Got it. Nice one. Yeah, some enemies. Oh, there we go, look. So it's very tricky controls, guys, but you do get used to them. Missed that bloody thing though, didn't I? Right, okay. Come on, get it, you bugger. Oh, you swine. <laughs> Come on, get it. No, you can't get it. Doesn't look like it, guys, does it? No, it doesn't. That is pretty damn cool though, look at that. Well, we got it this time, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got it. Okay. Brilliant. Well, you obviously got to jump on this thing here. Then to press X. Well, I did, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Right, here we go then. Here's another one. Oh, here we come again. Okay. Right, I'm going here. Go down there. Yeah. Hey, we ended that level, so cool. On to the next one then. You see how brilliant this is though guys, wicked. How to play, blah blah blah, yeah okay, right. We're gonna play the actual game this time. Okay, daily challenge, yeah. Right, interesting guys, here we go. Oh, I got hit by him. That's it, guys. Oh, look at this. All these coins that you're supposed to collect, look, and I'm uh, losing them all. There we go. Got him. Oh, the blue buzz saws again, guys. Got him, nice one. And all these coins, look again. Oh, I'm gonna lose them all now. <laughs> oh, bummer. Right, so we're supposed to go up here, are we? Okay, where to though? Right, back up here, okay then. Oh no, the bloody bus saw got me. Oh, okay, there we go. On to the next bit. Fantastic mechanics, guys. Takes some getting used to, I have to say. I'm getting quite a few coins, I suppose. Well, I'm getting them. That's it. Cool. 
Can I not get that one? No. What have we got here then? Oh dear, here we go. Look. I'm trying to get into the cannon and get myself shot off in the right direction, I suppose. Here we go. Oh well, we'll go here then instead. You can see the uh, mechanics, guys, where you can actually do that. It's pretty damn cool. Can we kill him now? Uh, yes, we can. We can kill him. Good. Brilliant. Where are we supposed to go now, then? Eh? Hmm. Well, we're supposed to go back, then. Yeah, get him. Got him. That's it. Yeah, nice one. Area cleared. Does that mean we've got another area here now? No, no area here. Ah, right, there we go. You just got to follow that course, sign guy. Oh, hey, look it. What a fantastic game again. Oh, he's done such a stellar job again. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna lose that coin. Yeah, lost it, guys. Lost it. Maybe we've got him now. So let's just keep going. Then. Got him. Yes. We were supposed to get 400 coins, weren't we? Oh, look at this. Brilliant. Do they go away? I suppose they do after a while. Come on, get that last one. Come on, you bugger. Get that last one. No, I don't want it. No, you don't want it. Okay, then we'll leave that. Oh, there we go. Got it. Nice one. Where to now? Where to? Is it up here? Or what? Not up there. Oh, let's just keep going then. Oh, bugger, look, they blow you off. Ah, right, so now we know what those boxes do now. Ah, there we go, look. There we go, next one, guys. What a fantastic game. Wow. There we go, get him, yeah. Got him out of the way quick, can we? Can we get that? I want to get it. Yes, got it. We've got it here then. Ah, they've just been buggers with it. Yeah, there we are, another one. Oh, look at these. Oh, got them all. Oh, we've got them all. Yeah, we've got them all. Wicked. Look at this thing, yeah. That's uh, obviously a bit like a pinball. Oh, he got me, no. Oh, at least we got to Area 4, guys. That is fantastic. I mean, what an awesome game again, guys. And I got the high score. That is a fantastic way to end this video, guys, showing you this brilliant title. Oh, I tell you what, he is knockout, this developer. What a fantastic indie developer, guys. Right. After saying all that, I'm still going to give you my final thoughts. Back in a sec. Wow. That is three fantastic titles, guys. And as I said, there's a fourth out there as well. With Foulis, the original, guys. The super Foulis, the original. Oh, wow. The Switch oh, is brilliant for independent games, guys. It has uh, become a proper indie platform hasn't it but like i said earlier guys i would love to see thomas k young on the evercade i think after indie heroes and what have you this would be absolutely brilliant to have a collection of thomas k young games i know he's working on other things for instance so they could probably end up banging quite a few titles onto a cartridge you know including the four that he's got already and then the ones he's working on. I would love to love to see that, guys. But give me your opinion. 
And like I said earlier, it won't suit everybody. They're quite cutie looking, aren't they? But they get bloody hard, guys. And they just reek of retro. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous the way they look, the music. Bit cheeky with the old Mario sound effect, but I love it. I love it that it's there, guys. I think it's fantastic. But yeah, what do you think, guys? Comment below. Are you going to pick them up? They're really cheap at the moment, guys. The, uh, the, oh, the, the Daddish and Daddish 2, guys, you can literally pick up for a pound each. And I do believe, let's have a think, was the, yeah, Super Foul 2 is a pound as well. So three quid and you've got all of them, guys. And if you've got any coins, you know, you can cash them in and get it even cheaper. I mean, I got Daddish a long time ago. I got Daddish 2 for 50 pence because I had coins. And I do believe I got ooh, Super Foul 2 for around about 60 pence with the rest of my coins. So, yeah, I was. Oh, that was fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But, yeah. It's over to you guys. What do you think? This is a stellar indie developer in my mind. Coming from New Zealand, guys. Wow. Right, and with that, guys, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up. And, of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever, guys. And, guys, do you love emulation? Because that is a way to play fantastic retro games i know these look like retro games but they're not but yeah you can play fantastic retro games on emulation guys whether it's handheld or plug it into your tv unit um brilliant brilliant place to preserve these classics for future generations guys because a lot of them would vanish otherwise well if you do love emulation i've got a fantastic group on facebook for you it is the Retro Emulation fan group, guys, that me and my bestie Nate set up quite some time ago now, guys. We've got ever-growing member base. I do believe we're over 350 now, which is fantastic. Uh, tons of videos there for you to watch. System reviews, tech help videos, emulation performance videos, and just a fabulous place for news and bantering with the other members and the brilliant admin team that is behind us, guys fantastic place for anything emulation so if you love emulation link to below guys head over there and come and join us and then guys i also have my uk crack gaming facebook group as well where we cover everything retro to modern guys from pong machines to ps5s and everything in between and again tons of videos guys because other youtubers put their videos up there every single day so loads of videos for you to sink your teeth into and again, a brilliant place just to have a banter with all the other members. It's growing again, guys, more and more every day. Fantastic to just have a banter about anything to do with gaming. So again, guys, if you're interested, link below. Head over, ask to join, and I'll accept you in no time. And then, guys, I also have a Patreon. Another video for you to watch there, explaining why I decided to set it up in the first place. Here we go, give it a watch, and then decide if you're going to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And so, bid us in. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.